Hey, welcome to the part 36. We are looking at real certification questions. By the way, if you are wondering what happened to the parts 34 and 35, mate, you have to click the join button. You have to click it. You have to become a cloud kernel member and then you will get access to all of those unlimited certification contents. Today, in this part, we are going to cover questions linked with these three topics, interesting topics, important topics. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, become a subscriber. You will get access to tons of cloud certification materials. These certifications are mostly based around AWS Cloud, GCP Cloud, and Azure Cloud. Let's look at these questions. See, you want to understand when certain events are going to occur tomorrow day after tomorrow what is going to happen in my aws account so what service would give me that kind of access first is config see this service will help you only evaluate assess configurations of your resources for example you put ec2 instances a guy named john he put some he created some ec2 instances and then a guy named tim he updated those configuration settings of those EC2 instances. Now you want to know after say three months, John says, hey, you know what? When I set this up, I set this up with this configuration. Who the hell changed this configuration? And then he can go back and then check in through the config that, hey, you know what? Uh, a guy called Tim changed it. So that way we can track what changes happened to these resources, when it happened, who did that? But that is not what we require here. So we will strike this off. Systems Manager. See, Systems Manager, it centralizes operational data from different services. It automates tasks across different resources. So basically, it will help you with management of your application stack. Suppose your application stack has EC2 instances, databases, and so on. It will help you manage that. It will create logical groups of those resources. But it will not tell you mate what are you going to run today tomorrow and so on but but see personal health dashboard this is the guy this is the guy we are looking for for a long time i did not know this service exists but this is a very cool service it tells you all important events that are going to occur in future and what changes are going to affect your aws environment so you get proactive notifications you will get detailed troubleshooting guidance fine-grained access control integration and automation with event bridge lambda functions made tons of benefits see trusted advisor is your security consultant this is a misfit here you do not want you do not want anything to do with security in this question so what you do is you have to it will help you reduce the costs it will help you improve performance it will help you improve the security posture it is just like a consultant. It will give you advice whether you want to follow it or not. Up to you. This service is just like your parents. The parents always tell you keep studying. You will grow. Be on the right path. But do you follow it? I don't know. Maybe. May not be. I followed some. I did not follow some. So some of my friends have become vice president of some company, etc. And I am not. For 10 years, I was in the same position in the same company. This is the right answer and I have established why. See, when a customer is using AWS to construct hybrid cloud, what does hybrid mean? Does it mean that all resources will be using on-premises? No, boss. It will be on-premises plus cloud. On-premises plus cloud. Hybrid means on-premises plus cloud. So in the childhood, we used to listen to our parents as well as teachers. Parents as well as teachers. Now, B says you run resources on premises and some you will run in the co location center. God knows what is a co location center, man. So, this is a very new term. Whenever I see such new terms, I know that this is ha has been mentioned here to misguide me. This is just like my friend, not my friend, a guy in my school who used to tell, Hey, can you have a fag? He was the one trying to introduce me to the secrets. This is just that option. C says all resources you run on AWS cloud. If you, if you are running everything on cloud, it is not hybrid. It is 
cloudized. So this is wrong. D says you would run some on premises and some on cloud. This is my answer. I would take some tips from my parents, some from my teachers, and I will work in a hybrid manner. So this is the final answer. Now you got to say which services will help you improve network security by restricting requests for a web application hosted on AWS. It's network security. When I, whenever I see network security and I see a web application, I think of WAF, WAF, WAF. It's simple. Protect your web applications from common exploits. Protect it from bad players. Protect it from the dark web. Hooray! We got our first answer. Now let us look at option B. Option B is talking about trusted advisor. Trusted advisor is just like your parents giving you advice after advice. Boss, improve your performance. Boss, improve the security. Do not go with bad friends and so on. It will only give, parents will only give you advice. They, it is, but for a web application, you want something who can come in and protect you. Your friend, my friend, your friend during those days, a strong friend who used to help you deal with the bullies. In the school, parents are not coming to the school. Your your friend is there to protect you. So WAF is that friend. Trusted advisor is your parent. So parent will not work because parents are at home when you are getting bashed in your school. Now C says direct connect. Direct connect is why it is used. It is just a new network you set. Some set of cables between your on premises and your AWS data centers. It is not going to restrict requests and it you ha still have to use WAF and other things. So this will not solve it. Organizations centrally manage your environment as you scale. Organization is to organize. Organization is to organize. It will quickly scale your environment by programmatically creating new AWS accounts. It simplifies user-based permission management. It manages and optimizes cost. Okay. It is not meant to restrict requests or improve network security. It is not meant for that. No, network ACLs are meant for that. So this would be my second answer. Using network ACL, you can say allow or deny. Allow or deny. You, you, boss, you are in control now. You can allow inbound traffic or outbound traffic or you can deny at the subnet level. So if you know there are certain IPs coming from your friendly, friendly country, Pakistan, then you know you have to deny it. For me, all humans are equal, but I'm just trying to give you a scenario. If it is, you know that it's a country where most of the hackers and spammers are there. And if you want to deny it, you can deny it. If you want to allow certain IPs, you can allow. Good and bad people are in, in each country. Even in India, if you see a lot of spammers are operating from India. They give fake calls to people in US. Okay, so this is my answer friends please hit the subscribe button if you are not a subscriber yet please subscribe it will help you stay tuned to the latest certification contents there are tons and tons of materials on this channel to help you clear aws azure and gcp cloud certification do not forget to click the join button this will help you like you if you are joining you become a cloud kernel at least so that it can get access to all of the certification contents at a very small premium but if you are also looking for advanced certifications like data analytics solution architect professional and so on then go ahead and become a member you have to choose cloud ninja for that it will give you unlimited access to all of the certification contents this brings us to the end of this part see you in the next part